All right, so let's go through the process of importing this asset. So we have a brand new project here, and what we want to do is either import this from the Unity Asset Store or import this via a Unity package manually. So I'm going to import this via package manually. And in that case, all you have to do is drag and drop the package into the asset folder. That's going to start the process of importing, and we can wait till the importing process is done. When this window pops up, all we have to do is click import. We're going to import all the files that come with the package. Now that the package is done importing, we see that we have a bunch of errors. That's because we need to install the dependencies. So in the folder that we imported, there should be a file called manifest and inside the manifest file, there is a package called Newtonsoft. Newtonsoft does all of the serialization within this package. So to import Newtonsoft, go to the Windows menu, then to the Package Manager. Afterward, what we want to do is hit the plus icon here and go to Add a Package by Name. We're going to type in the package name in the version, which is com.unity.nougat.newtonsoft-json with the version 3.2.1. After that, click the Add button, then we're going to wait until that finishes importing. Once that is finished importing, the errors in the console disappear. Then let's find the fetch demo scene. It is located in the function calling folder in a subfolder called scenes. Double click on the scene to open it. When you open this demo, you can see this window that pops up. A window pops up telling us to import the text mesh pro essentials. So let's go ahead and import that as well. Then let's wait until that's finished. Okay, that's done. As you can see in the scene, we have a bunch of pink textures. That's because we are missing the URP, Universal Render Pipeline Asset. Depending on your project, make sure to set up your game using the render pipeline of your choice. The functionality of function calling will work no matter what render pipeline you have, but in this case, I am using the Universal Render Pipeline. Let's import the URP package with the Package Manager. Go to Windows, package manager then search for universal RP and import that package wait until that is finished importing once it's finished we can go to the project settings so edit project settings then we're going to go to URP global settings and click fix And then we're going to go to the graphic settings and what we need to do is put in a reference to the render pipeline asset. So right now we have no render pipeline asset set, so we need to create one. Do this by right clicking in the project panel. Go to create and then find the rendering option. And create a URP asset with a universal renderer. I'm going to keep it up with the default name. What we want to do is find the universal render pipeline asset in the project, then drag and drop it over into this reference area. Now that we've done that, the render pipeline is set and we can go ahead and play our game. I'm going to maximize my game view and hit play. Once the game is playing, the fetch demo is set up with a few functions that can be called. You can either use the text input or the voice input to ask the character to fetch one of the objects for you. You can choose from four objects, a cube, a sphere, a cylinder, or a capsule. I'm going to click on the mic button and ask the character to fetch me that cube. Fetch that cube for me, please. The character will think for a second. Retrieve the cube. I will. Patience, you must have. Yes. Using your input, it will decide which function to call and which arguments to put into the function's parameters. Then it will call the function. And that's it. You have successfully imported this asset and can use the demo scene. Next will come a video that will explain in more detail how this is being done and how you can call any function in your game. It's exciting to be able to give this asset to you all, and I'm also excited to see what you all can come up with. Happy coding, and see you all in the next video.